<sighs> hey y'all, it's November the 13th, 2015, and as you might know already, shit is bad. And it's getting worse. Now, I cringe to even bring this up. Part of me didn't even want to bring this up, to be honest with you, because I don't, I can give shit less about celebrities. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up. Jennifer Lawrence is the star of the Hunger Games, and I gotta say, in the Hunger Games movie, which is a lot of propaganda, um, I do kind of appreciate the character that Jennifer Lawrence plays in that. She's kind of independent, and she kind of stands for good, something like that. Uh, she's not a complete total whore. Uh, anyways, Jennifer Lawrence in person is actually a retarded person. Uh, and she's not anyone to be idolized for any reason. Anyways, the reason I bring her up, she went off on some sort of article or whatever. You probably find it, you know, talking about Donald Trump being the end of the world. First of all, Donald Trump ain't even trying to be president. That's a trick. Uh, and she says Donald Trump is the best thing that could have ever happen for Democrats. Um, I guess ever since the KKK. Anyways, uh, Jennifer Lawrence, here's a quote from her. She said, she said, allegedly, this is what she said. Uh, I was raised a Republican. Now, first, let me stop her right there. Um, if you know anything about the, the American um, left-right paradigm that we're dealing with, what you mean to say is, you, you actually messed up. What you mean to say is, I was raised a retarded person. Straight up retarded. That's what you meant to say. But anyways, she said, I was raised a Republican. But I just can't imagine supporting a party that doesn't support women's basic right let me paraphrase for for you real quick what she said was this i was raised a retarded person and i am currently still a retard is basically what she said and now you might be saying well how come well why are you saying that about her because what she said the thing is i'm not gonna i'm not gonna explain it to you if you don't already understand you are straight retarded you need to get up off this channel all right, but anyways, let's move. Let's move on. Here's what I found interesting. At first, I didn't even know how to feel about this. Apparently, a fake man, and it's and it's amazing that this can even be possible in the world of transgenderism being the most courageous thing that you could possibly do. How in the world could there be a fake man, right? Like, how in the damn world could there even be a fake man? But anyways, a fake man tricked a woman and to sex apparently a whole bunch of times and she actually got sentenced to jail i want to say for eight years okay prosecutors say 25 year old gail newland went to great lengths to create a male persona setting up a facebook account in the name of kai fortune now, already that's contradictory because that is not going to great lengths. It's very easy to set up a Facebook account. The victim, also 25, dated Kai Fortune, which sounds like a fake man, for more than two years, but was made to wear a blindfold whenever they were together. All right. All right, this lady dated a fake name sounding ass dude from off of Facebook for two years and over the course of two years she was blindfolded every time they came together and she thought that was completely normal. Fifty Shades of Grey, huh? Anyways, uh, let's see. Uh, she said um, that she was made to wear a blindfold whenever they got together. Whenever they got together. Including about 10 times. Approximately 10 times. When the pair had sex together. Uh, the complainant said that after 3 or 4 months. <laughs> of communicating through Facebook. Ty told her. That he had a close friend who was also in Chester, England. Um, and he was referring to his alter ego, who, who's a lady by the name of Gail. Um, let's see. And so when he said he had a friend, that's how he got his in. And, and so they, the two became friends, this fake, the fake man and the lady. So the complainant uh, says she realized the truth two and a half years 
after meeting Kai. Kai Fortune, which sounds like a completely made up name. Uh, online, and after spending at least one, 100 hours in his company, always wearing a blindfold. Alright, she took off the blindfold after Kai asked her to give him oral sex. Now, the oral sex that this fake guy named Kai was asking for was quite obviously going to be on a fake penis. But she doesn't have a penis. She's a lady. Alright. And this is how the story goes. After Kai, the fake man, the fake man asked for the oral sex on her fake penis. According to the prosecution, um, the testicles, whatever testicles she, uh, on the fake penis did not feel like real testicles. And that's when uh, the lady, she figured it out basically after two and a half years and over a hundred year, uh, hours of being Blindfolded, which is completely normal. Now, my opinion on this is there's a lot of sick tomfoolery going on, but if anyone should go to jail, it's this lady uh, who who feels as though she is raped because she's straight up retarded. And she, um, she can only really hurt herself by being out of society. Anyways, uh, a black student-only meeting stirs up racial controversy at a high school. Nobody saw this coming. Klein ISD, somewhere in Texas, and Texas really seems to be popping off as far as stories. Uh, Klein ISD High School um, in Texas had a unity meeting for only black people. And some people got upset. Now, here's the thing. I hate to break it to you, but I've heard a lot of black people say this. Very intelligent black people. Uh, the thing is about black unity is that it does not exist. It is a fantastical thing. It's kind of like a unicorn. Um, it's not a real thing. And, and the reason uh, that black people on the whole find themselves in the situation they're in is because black unity does not exist at all. It's a funny, horrible, terrible joke. All right, but anyways, uh, the reason I bring it up is quite obviously if a, uh, a white students got together and said, hey, we're going to have a white-only meeting, please believe they would be kicked out of school. They would probably be arrested and taken to jail. Now, since the black students did the same exact thing, uh, what happened was some people got kind of upset about it. That's the end. Anyways... Uh, female cops apparently won a lawsuit. Um, I had to look back into it, but apparently won the lawsuit. Female cops in Colorado Springs. They no longer had to take a physical fitness test at all because it was discriminatory. Twelve female officers over the age of 40 say that there is no possible correlation between their physical cap capabilities and them performing their jobs. Now, forget as a citizen uh, who might one day call the police to come help you, uh, forget the fact that, you know, um, chances are what you're hoping that they'll send you is very big, strong guys um, to help you out. Now, forget all that. It's discriminatory to expect that a cop can do uh, some push-ups, some sit-ups, be able to run through an obstacle course. That is hateful and it's bigoted. So that's why these uh, female co cops won their lawsuit. And I hope they're feeling very good about themselves. Uh, the citizen citizenry, uh, they must be feeling very, very secure at this point. All right, let's move on quickly from that. Uh, a fourth grader 
is threatened with sexual harassment for writing a love letter. Now, even before I get into this, all right, as a fourth grade little boy, all right, let's let's dive into the mindset of this little boy. Um, he's writing a, a little girl who he likes a love letter. Now, uh, his heart will start racing. You know what I'm saying? He'll get all nervous. And the reason for this is because in his mind, there's a cornucopia of outcomes, a myriad of outcomes that can happen, both good and bad, uh, that could come of this, of him giving a love letter to a little girl. All right. That being said, probably one of the worst things possible is what happened to this fourth grader and that he may be a sexual predator for the rest of his life on his permanent, uh, you know what I'm saying, file for writing this girl love letter. Now, I saw the love letter. First of all, it was written, uh, it's poorly written, to be honest. Uh, I would definitely start trying to help him with his linguistics. All right, but that being said, it was goddamn adorable. All right, the fourth grader who is threatened with these sexual harassment charges wrote a letter saying all sorts of things, including that this little girl's eyes sparkle like diamonds. All right. He also said that she was pretty and that she was cute and that she does make his heart race. And also that he likes her hair because it is sloppy. All right. That was what was written in the letter. Now, what happened after that is some other fellow students found out about this letter. They began chanting something like, oh, you want to see her naked? You want to see her naked, which is inappropriate, yes. But also, uh, these are fourth graders, all right? All you had to do is tell them to quiet down, please, and give them some chocolate milk, situation averted, all right? But instead, uh, this little boy uh, may be viewed as a sexual predator for the rest of his life. All right. This evil little boy's mother says that the letters he gave to this little girl were in fact harmless. And that the fourth grader uh, does not even understand what sexual harassment is. In a similar story, uh, George Strait's uh, hit single, Check Yes or No, is the official anthem to rape culture. And this is a sad, sad day. Anyways, let's finish this up real quick. Uh, Berlin police raid different buildings and a crackdown on online hate speech. Now, this was hate speech directed towards... Um, I guess immigrants. Now, immigrants are completely destroying Germany and all sorts of other countries, um, destroying it, their economy, uh, socially. They're kind of they're they're raping people all over the place. But apparently, there was hate speech directed towards them, and so I was like, you know, I want some examples of this hate speech. I want to see what was actually popping, and to find out what 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 do you have to say to to make it hate speech? Can you say I just don't like the idea of this? Or are they saying that they want to murder and, and do all sorts of bad things to these people? I looked into it, and actually what happened is, no, you're not going to find any examples. People were raided and arrested, and I have no clue what it is they wrote about migrants completely destroying their country. That's what Nazis do. Uh, that's what Nazis do. And anyways, shit is bad. You know what I'm saying? It is getting worse. Uh, but that's it for now. This is November the 13th, 2015. And like me. Please like me, please.